entire class of U.S. Soviet nuclear missiles is eliminated. Means that the era of nuclear disarmament has begun. We will stay the course and we will succeed. Denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon, you sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you can... I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Allow he is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Allow has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging it out. Here comes the traffic jam. Come on, Casey. 
Get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. That's made... what I thought. I've come to expect this from you. Not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and US operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exit, Bill. We call in reinforcements and wait. Wait? What the hell with that? Farage, come in. Where did your way? No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Hey, so let's start by softening them up. Get to work, Case.
Baraj, we're getting close. Baraj, come in. Are you sure he'll be there? You just heard our house slowing us down. We're open targets down here. And they'll could pick us apart. about not slowing us down. We're open targets down here. And they'll could pick us apart. Raj will meet us at the bottom. Ten months? 
Marshall, huh? Woods' new project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high-value target in cold blood and put our national security at risk. Hello, we can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brook. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck! Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. OK, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Ms. Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. kept him. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? Me and the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. 
I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group, one receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savadi Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking Pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to meet him, to want and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. Just let him stab an Irish Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. What's going on, man? Just what we found in Adler's files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old, came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Fear she was raised through the Guild and then exiled or left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. Felix Newman's a former Stasi engineer and enforcer. Dude managed to crack the military branch of ARPANET a few years back, so I'm hoping he's got a sequel in him. So far, we've got nothing but Adler's homework. But he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well-armed, coordinated, and motivated. 
Worried? Jane's smart. Once Lingley knows we've skipped town, she'll make excuses for us as long as possible. Until then, comms are gonna put a target on our head, so we'll wait for the time to be right, and then we'll regroup. Am I worried? No. Hell, man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted to add it off the board one way or the other. The man both loves and hates being told what to do. That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama, lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between me and you, it's not in his blood. Man's a soldier. Killer. His current situation, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. You got it. I'll see you back here on Thursday. <laughs>